So how can professional photography and videography impact the sale of a home? So professional photography and videography is monumental. I scratch my head sometimes, I just shake my head like I'm doing now. I'll, I'll say to my brother, like, do you think the seller has any idea that this is the way that their property is being portrayed online? I mean, let's face it, Zillow, Realtor.com, Google, when you're looking for property, most of the time when you're deciding on a specific home that you maybe want to make an appointment to to take a look at, you're doing it based on the photos or video you're watching. So would you rather have a professional photographer who works with a professional real estate team taking the photos so that when someone's looking at your property online or watching the video, that that's what they're seeing? Or your agent that walks in with their iPhone and snaps some photos and puts up a collage of pictures that may or may not have the right lighting, their thumb may or may not be in the photo, um, they're getting, you know, they've got four pictures of the kitchen because their picture on their phone only takes so much, as opposed to a professional photographer that not only gets the kitchen, gets the kitchen and living room together. And, you know, it, it's, you know, we talk about, I talked in, a, in, a, in another segment about trusting your agent. And if you have a relationship or a, a you know, a little bit of a rapport going with your agent, and it's you know doing stuff, doing a video, doing a Zoom, and going out, and going out and, and doing that Zoom with them. Well, you've asked them to go out and, and do that with them because you've watched the video that's associated with that property, or you've just clicked on the 58 photos, 60 photos that they took in that the, that the pro took, so that you can say, yeah, this is something that I definitely I like this. I can I, I think I want to schedule a time to come down to the shore and look at this property. Well, if you're deciding on that and you're scheduling time, so it's an, let's say, so Philadelphia, it's an hour and 20 minutes to get here. So it's an hour and 20 minutes to get here, an hour and 20 minutes to get home, and it's an hour to look at maybe two or three properties. So that's three hours and 40 minutes. You've only, almost taken four hours out of a day to come down and look. And if your property isn't presented correctly online, no one's gonna make an appointment to come down and look at yours. Yeah, that's fair. It's all about selling it on the internet and having a professional real estate agent that has a professional videographer, and we have two, by the way, that can do your property, drones, so they can get an idea of where you are with regards to bayfront, beachfront. Where are you in proximity to the beach and the bay? Where are you in proximity to the boardwalk? that all gets captured, whether it's through a video or through stills, you know, in a drone, that's all captured that way. I'm looking for a property that might be two or three blocks from the beach. Okay, well, if I'm looking online and I've got two properties that are identical and I've got a bunch of street shots from someone that's just taking pictures uh, and they turn and they take a picture down the street so that I can see the boardwalk way down there. I can see it in this photo or I've got the Frizoco group and their professional photographer that's taken some, you know, not only does some videos, does some photos. And oh, by the way, we've got about four or five aerial shots where you can physically see arrow, this is house, this is beach, this is boardwalk. You don't need to, am I, how many blocks am I from the, like, is there a couple of stop signs between me and the board? I can't really see that. I'm giving you an aerial. It's foolproof. Boom. It, we're, it, you're, you're giving the buyer the information that they need to make a decision by using professional photography. You know. Sounds smart. And, yeah, <laughs> and, and that's not an expense to the seller. That's, that's something that we offer. Whether you've got a cool. two bedroom condo or you know, a 10 bedroom single family home. Photography's on us. Um, besides putting up bad photos and, and maybe making your house a little too cluttered, what are some common staging mistakes to avoid? Um, a lot of times, and this really isn't anything with 
you know, furniture and things to that nature. Like when you, you know, you're leaving for the weekend, it's Sunday afternoon, you're leaving. So you're shutting all your blinds, shutting all your lights off. Um, now someone wants to come in, they want to see your property. So now the agent comes in, um, maybe they don't preview the property beforehand. They just, they're coming in. Um, and rather than the wow factor of the house or the property when they first walk in, now they're looking for light switches. They're trying to find the blinds so they can open the blinds so that you can get some natural light in if you happen to have a view so that they can see it. Um, and before you know it, you've been in the house 10, 10, 12 minutes. And the first impression, I go back to that, is now ah, it's a little dark. Remember when we walked in, we were kind of trying to find that light switch or every light, every bedroom we went into, we flipped the light switch and no light came on. Well, that's because they were all on the, Lamp. They were all on the lamp the or they were all on the ceiling fan. But man, if you just had the blind in the bedroom window open, like halfway, and I'm not saying like you lift it up, you just open it like halfway or a quarter way to let some natural light in, you're going to be able to bebop in and out of every room, flip a light on and make it a little bit brighter, but you're not going to get that, man, it's really dark in here. Um, you know, in the winter months, you have all that, and then your heat set at 50. You walk, you know, you, you walk in, and it feels like a cave. I, everything I'm saying in with this all reverts back to first impression. Yeah. It, 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 that's what it is. It's your first impression. If you're selling an oceanfront property, or you're selling a property that has a view, and the first thing that someone's going to see when they walk into your property can be the water. But you've got your blinds closed. You've lost that wow. Like that should be something that they can see. When they, they open that front door, they, they step in, they turn. And maybe it's up the hallway a little bit, but there's a living room and your it doesn't have to be wide open. Again, I realize too with the sun, you know, we do want to protect floors and, and all that kind of stuff. But you know, even if they're just semi-open, so the natural light's coming in, you can see. Oh, there's the ocean. You're gonna, you're, you are going to instinctively walk up to that sliding glass door and open the blinds to see it. Not walk in and start looking for light switches so that you can turn it on and eventually make your way up to. Again, at that point in time, you've been in the house like six or seven minutes. And it's like, as yeah. opposed to walking in and either, wow, bam, that ocean just, or you know, some sort of a view just slaps you in the face. Or you just walk in and just, wow, this is light, air, bright, airy. Like this, this is wonderful. Yeah. You know, um, you know, what would you rather have? Walk in, and it's dark and cold in here, it's like a cave. Or, wow, I mean, you can have the same exact, same exact, day temperature wise and have two totally different experiences based on how a property is staged just from its lighting wow. just through how you keep your blinds and shades in a property i i let our clients know all the time especially ones that that do have water views and whatnot look at just so you when are you okay if when you guys are going to leave when my photographer comes in when we're done we're going to leave the blinds like this are you okay that we do that? Because we want that wow effect. Yes, perfect. Do me a favor. If you happen to come down, can you make sure that they're also left, you know, get them back that way so that when people walk in, they get that wow effect. I mean, that's staging. Yeah. It's not furniture. It's not knickknacks. It's not kotchke stuff. But that's staging. You know, it's, it's all about the first impression that you get when you walk into a property. And that's... That's very important.